There was an interesting uh, fact. When people, uh, your people knew that uh, you were going to be on this morning, I got uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of links to a video that uh, your people have produced dealing with the time that you were a physician. And this was of a, I don't know, I'm assuming you're aware of this, it was a, a black fellow from uh, Texas who, whose wife was in uh, distress uh, giving birth uh, in a hospital and having she was having trouble and they were having trouble finding a doctor who was willing to give them service and by implication because he was black and she was uh, a white lady that she was having trouble finding a, an emergency physician here's the sound of some of this it was uh, between 1972 and 73 but it was still a lot of prejudice around this area. My wife was sick and I was trying to get some attention for her. Nobody came to check. They just left her there. Well, I believe I was left there because of the difference uh, me being black and her being white. And every time I would say something to her head nurse, she would get pretty upset. And then she finally called her. Uh, Freeport Police Department said I was harassing her and I mean I, I didn't know anything to do well then Ron Paul come to my rescue he just stepped in and went to work with my wife and after he seen her uh, I'd say no more than 10 minutes later she had a stillborn boy child and he said, as far as the bill, he would take care of everything, which he did. I never got a bill from the hospital or anything. And he was a doctor of medicine, and that's what he was doing, was practicing medicine. And it didn't matter who and what and why. He was and that was, that's an amazing story. Wow. <laughs> how, how did you, uh, uh, that's a long time ago. How, uh, I'm super, well, how did you, you know, this was, uh, I just saw this a uh, little, little while ago. It wasn't put out by our campaign. It was put out by that, you know, the super PAC type stuff that are separated from the campaign. Okay. I'm amazed at how they found that. If you would have asked me to go back and find somebody like that, I wouldn't know. But to me, I don't remember it. I don't recall it because it was one of, you know, just the way we, practice medicine, you know, in a way at least I practice medicine. Obviously it was, so it was incredibly non, important to that guy. He it was a non-event non uh, in the sense that th that, I th that is what I thought my responsibilities were, but I never never had the uh, knowledge of how grateful he was, you know, and to me that's magnificent. After you know? all this time, isn't uh, it? Yeah, because it, it, uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> so. We will continue with uh, Dr. Ron Paul, Congressman Ron Paul, presidential candidate here in the middle of Iowa. You're listening to 1040 WHO Radio, and we're also uh, simulcasting on uh, C-SPAN here this morning. And uh, Mr. Cooper is going to update us on our farm markets. We'll can reconvene in just a moment at 1040 WHO. Okay, now we're back with our C-SPAN viewers. I can see that was that kind of an emotional effect on you. Yeah, it did. Um, well, because it's sort you're of not, something out of the past. You're not uh, given to Oprah moments. You almost <laughs> had one, didn't you? <laughs> well, it, it was it was sort of touching thinking about, uh, you know, it's sort of one of these things where sometimes you get banged over the head mercilessly, and you think, oh boy, you know, they're making me sound like I'm a terrible person. But I keep telling myself. Well, first off, you've invited this problem by being involved in politics. The other thing is I work on, you know, over the years, you know, and I know you remember I, there were times when I'd vote for, by myself, you know, and trying to make these points. But I keep telling myself truth wins out. Truth wins out in the end. And uh, I think if I can make mistakes, and, and uh, but if I'm telling the truth, eventually truth comes around, you know, whether it's sound money or the foreign policy or, or whatever. If, if if you honestly believe it's the truth, and uh, I, I think you'll eventually win. Uh, and in some ways, I, I think we're starting to win some of these fights right now, and uh, the people are starting to listen because our country is in such uh, such dire trouble. It was uh, between 1972 and 73. But it was still a lot of prejudice around this area. My wife was sick and I was trying to get some attention for her. Nobody came to check. 
They just left her there. Well, I believe I was left there because of the difference, uh, me being black and her being white. And every time I would say something to her head nurse, she would get pretty upset. And then she finally called the uh, Freeport Police Department, said I was harassing her. And I mean, I, I didn't know anything to do. Well, then Ron Paul come to my rescue. He just stepped in and went to work with my wife. And after he seen her, uh, I'd say no more than 10 minutes later, she had a stillborn boy child. And he said, as far as the bill, he would take care of everything, which he did. I never got a bill from the hospital or anything. And he was a doctor of medicine, and that's what he was doing, was practicing medicine. And it didn't matter who and what and why he was doing it, because he think of one human being just as much as another. He's just a honest man, and that's something we need now in this day and time. It's a lot of politics and no honesty. When you have honesty, well, people will try to do anything to blot you out. And that's what they will try to do to him, is blot him out, because he will be honest. And they need more like him. <laughs>